Fred Lurchites. Today I'm feeling a little bit lazy, plus I have a project. I, uh, it's my house, so it's not too messy, my fancy stove. Um, I need to, in a week, I have to have beans made, baked beans enough for 400 people. So I'm going to have to do uh, some batches and stuff. So instead of riding today, I'm going to get working on this and then I think I'll take the camera out and show you some guns and stuff for a second and and then uh, explain all the handy dandy gun laws we have in Canada at the same time so um, so I need to soak these I'll boil them for a bit and soak them and then I need to start and I don't know if I'm gonna do batches or or what but at 400 people is gonna be you can see that pail down there it'll be two and a half of those pails of worth of beans so and it's for a kind of a town fair thing I don't know what equivalent you guys have in the states for in the states but it's champion Alberta is my hometown and it is uh, the 105th celebration uh, we do generally do something every five years the hundredth was a big one the 90th was actually a big one um, for some reason, but this uh, next week is next weekend is the 105th. So I'm going to do beans and uh, we'll go to the garage and I'll show you some stuff out there and then and then uh, I'll get to work. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, so this GoPro is fun, fun. Anyway, I recorded a bunch of video after I left to talk about you know talking about the beans I came in here recorded a bunch of video the camera angle even though I'd used the app and I thought it was good because of the mount that it's on this headband headlamp mount thingy it's still too high like and I can't like right there my head's tilted away up and you can see what is level right and then now this is my head being level and it's and it's way down but in order to see things you know in front of me um, I have to have it tilted down so for not you know for stuff that I'm talking about that's far away or just walking around it's uh, it's okay when it's it's level on my head but it's it's I don't know I don't know what else to do though there's not really anything else to do I can't wear it you know in front of my eyes because then I can't see and I maybe could wear my helmet all the time because that's actually eye level and that's not too bad but uh, that would be annoying so um, I know you guys some guys wear a hat thing but I don't know I think it'd be heavy uh, for a hat and I think it would be in front of my face so um, I know at Tyler Eberide has that that Sony one and it's smaller it's slimmer so it probably is okay it's probably still a little annoying and now and also I was too damn long last time so I need to talk faster or not yak about stuff so anyways guns I'm talking about guns guns this is my 270 I'll hold it out to see if you can see it it's a Remington model 700 270 with a Vortex 3x9 scope and a bipod and I bought it because I wanted something I could actually hunt deer with if the opportunity arose but I don't hunt very much but I do like guns so and it was it was, it was a reasonable price right so it's it's fun it's done it's still a buck around though buck a shot so it's not really a plinking gun I wish I could just plink with it but every time I think oh man 20 20 rounds is, is easy to run through and that's that's uh, 20 bucks so and I could do a hundred rounds in a day that'd be a hundred dollars well good math so I'll talk a little bit about gun laws like I said I would Canadian gun laws, AR-15s, and my dream, dream gun. Actually, this is 
pretty close to my dream gun. Um, there's another dream gun that I would love to get, and it's basically because I live in Canada, but is a is a Scorpion Evo, um, and I'll talk about that. AR-15s and handguns are restricted. The only place you can have them is in a safe or in a um, in a, at a range or in your truck on the way to the range or on the way back. You can't shoot them anywhere else in Canada, and it's an idiotic rule. Um, if you want to do it, you break the law. I'm not condoning breaking the law, you know, but um, you uh, that's why you, I can't ever show you shooting this gun, except at a range on my videos, even though this gun is awesome and super fun just for plinking. I mean, it's still 50 cents a round, and 100 rounds is 50 bucks, but it is killer fun, so... Um, the other restriction in Canada is five round mags. For the most part, there's other ones that kind of go through loopholes you can get that are 10 round, but you can't get a 30 or 40 round legally. You can buy a P mag, a 30 round P mag, but in Canada they are always pinned. I'll show you one. This is a pinned. Right there is a pin. That's a pin 30 round P mag. Um, if you want to go to jail, if you get caught, you can drill that pin out, that rivet out, and then you have a 30 round P mag. But then, if you get caught with it, because the, the cops can come and look in your safe. You can't say, no, you can't look in my safe. They say, you have guns. You have restricted guns, we have free access to your safe. So they could come, open your safe up without notice, and take you to jail for a 30 round mag. That is how fun Canada is. And we have them because we say, screw you, we are going to own them anyways. Even though you don't trust us, which is stupid. You should trust us more than you trust your damn self, you greasy, greasy politicians, but... Anyways, the other thing that is, is restricted is, is handguns. This is my uh, Beretta PX4 Storm in 9mm. Um, I had a Glock before this, a Glock 22, which is 40 Smith & Wesson. I had it for a lot of years, it was my first handgun. Um, it was okay, I couldn't hit anything with it. I thought, well, it must be because I have 40 cal and a Glock. So I bought this, and I still can't hit anything with it. So I think it's because I suck at handguns, although they are really fun. So, um, they're fun to handle, fun, they're just fun, 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 fun for everyone. And this, like I said, I can't, I can have it here, I think. I think this is not being illegal to show you this. But I can't, if I walk out the door and shoot at a pop can, I'm breaking the law, I go to jail. So anyway, this is 10, you know, nine mil, load up. There, right? The safety is on, the firing pin is rolled forward. It can't fire, I can have it in a holster with a mount chambered, it is uh, safe, right? Because there's no way, unless there's some error with the ammunition, that it actually, but that never happens. So, anyways, that is, and uh, like I said, handguns are a lot of fun, but they're not as much fun in Canada, because you have to actually go to range, and normally, you have to pay either the range fees or 400 bucks a year for a range membership where if they were not restricted I could just go out in my field out there and shoot and try and hit gophers and not hit very many because actually 50 yards away or 25 yards away and I can't hit anything further than than well for 20 anyways with this thing so so those are dumb Dumb gun laws, Canada. 
people are scared and they don't there's no reason they should be scared they're they want to restrict they re want to restrict our freedoms and they have the right to do that because we have no provision in our constitution that says we have the right to defend ourselves the only people that have the right to defend anybody are law enforcement and military in canada other other people do not have the right you do not have the right to defend your property you do not have the right to defend your personal self against criminals that is the police job and nobody else is allowed to do it nobody else can be safe doing it it's it is ridiculous so hopefully i'm not too long with this one um so unfortunately you won't see me shooting up tannerite with my ar-15 um you will see me shooting tannerite with i can shoot it with that 270 legally if I had a lever action, or sorry, a, yeah, or a bolt action, well, a lever action too, but a bolt action 223, then this needs to go back in the safe. But a bolt action 223, I could legally shoot Tannerite with the 5.56 or 223 uh, caliber. But because Canada's laws are dumb, I can't. So, um, Anyways, I should let you go. This is boring watching me with my safe. So anyways, this is Lurch signing off. Thanks for watching.